we're going down to Ciro Gordo Landing. And we're going to put in and go to a little secret spring. This is Ciro Gordo Landing, Recreation Area, Choctahatchee River Water Management Area. I've been out here numerous times. And uh, today, there's nobody here. And it's 8.32 on Wednesday morning. Hasn't been a lot of rain. But there is some coming. We have a uh, hurricane back over towards New Orleans and Texas. So uh, we're going to get some rain later on today. There's your boat ramp. But uh, we're going to try to be out of here around 12-ish because that's when the rain's coming. So I'm uh, getting ready to launch. Got the boat in. Just wanted to show again a little bit of the parking lot. No one here. Already seen a bald eagle fly up. He flew off before I could get him on camera. Maybe we'll see another one later. But let's go get on the water, y'all. Now today we're gonna to take out this lifetime kayak here. And uh, we're gonna take it upstream. So we'll see how it does going upstream. It's been a while since I've taken it out. It's a little wider than my other kayaks that I have. So it's a little more stable. We'll see how it performs going upstream. And we're off. So like I said, we're gonna go upstream, up the Choctahatchee River. We're over here on, uh, it's actually in between uh, Carryville and north of Carryville is uh, up towards Highway 2, East Pittman Landing. It's, uh, it's on the uh, west side of the Choctahatchee River is where this landing is at. Like I said, this was the uh, the original county seat, courthouse area, you know, where uh, Holmes County first started. And at some point, I've told this story again, it, it had moved uh, different places, but it eventually wound up at in Bonifay, which is where our Holmes County Courthouse is to this day. So you'll see all kind of little streams leading out into uh, the Choctahatchee. A lot of them aren't even on the map. Now I went down that one one time and, uh, well, went up it, whatever. And went a pretty good ways up it before I decided to turn around. I don't know where it actually starts at, but uh, it was sure pretty back in there. And I was able to kayak, kayak it when the river was up higher than what it is now. Now, I don't think it's probably no more than a foot deep. So it may be right out in the channel. We got a hurricane on the way, but it's uh, more over to the, it's more over to the west of us. Probably, uh, I believe they said it's over towards Louisiana and the Texas area, so. We're gonna dodge the bullet on that, I'm hoping. I do hope everybody out that way is uh, is okay. And don't have any drastic damage or anything. I hope everything turns out all right for everybody. Um, we're just looking at some rain bands possibly today, this afternoon, um, throughout the night and tomorrow and maybe a little bit on uh, Friday. Now, uh, we need the rain because it's been pretty dry. Um, haven't had any rain in quite a while that amounted to anything. And when we, uh, in my little area where we live at, it seemed to be just going all around us when we did get any rain. So, uh, you know, I haven't had to cut the grass in a while, but, but at the same time, the grass is dying and, 
You know, I'm sure the farmers need the rain. If my grass is dying, I'm sure it's devastating to their crops. So we're hoping to at least get some rain out of this. Now, uh, right now it's already started to sprinkle again on me, so we're gonna be seeing some rain throughout the day until uh, I'm expecting around 12 o'clock to get, start really getting some considerable rain, so we'll see. I'm certainly getting some rain. It just goes and comes though. It's not a hard rain. Just a good sprinkle. I checked the radar before I left and uh, there wasn't any considerable clouds above us where I'm at as far as rain clouds. When you are out here on a on a boat and you're riding down the river and it's this low, seriously, you have to be careful. There's some uh, pretty big logs and stumps sticking up out here. You might see this one right behind me as I pass it. I don't know. I think I'm blocking it, but anyway, you have to be careful out here. You don't want to be running down this river wide open when it's this shallow. Well, I guess I'm going to get rained on the whole way up here. But that's okay. As long as it's not a flash flood, I'm good. Now those are, those are out, but they're uh, for later on in our, in our area. The lens is raining. Still, uh, the temperature is changing, and uh, I'm still warm. My glasses are fogging up. It's kind of hard to see. I have to take them off. I'm hoping the rain will slack off for a little bit when we get out here to the spring I'm looking for. I guess we'll see. Wow, so just before I reached to turn the camera on, an alligator jumped up out of the water, like four foot from the boat. He like, <laughs> like a fish, he just jumped out of the water out here in the middle of the current. And I thought it was a fish to start with until I saw the legs come out of the water. That freaked me out and I've never had that happen. I know there's gators out here, and I do see them from time to time, but I've never had one jump straight up out of the water. But uh, I've been seeing a lot of fish jumping, small fish mostly. So he's probably jumping up trying to catch them as they surface. Well, I found it. There's also one outside of it, but it's uh, the river's too browned out.
But it's a beautiful spring. You know, everybody don't want to give out the location, and I'm not, like I said. It's like a little oasis. Ain't that gorgeous? And the water, it's, uh, it's at least 68 degrees for sure. So here's a little wider view. A lot of a lot of pressure coming up out of the center of that thing. It's, it's silt on the bottom, so if you swim around and you touch the bottom, you stir up the bottom, it's gonna it's gonna mess with the clarity. But like it is right now, there's a cave down in the center, but I don't know how big it actually is. I don't, there's no telling, to be honest with you. Well, isn't this a beautiful spring, y'all? I mean, I think it was worth paddling to for sure. Even in the rain, and it's still raining, and there's more to come, but you can't get much better than this. Especially all to yourself. So they've even got a ramp, or a, uh, not a ramp, 
they've even got a like a platform and then a uh, a swing out here a rope swing actually a cable swing and uh, there's another swing a rope swing right over there kind of hard to see but it's really not it's really not that deep right there but water had to be way up to be able to use that one i guess unless you well you might could get over there and swing into the center one thing you might want to bring if you do get out here is bug spray because bug spray is horrible on the land uh bugs are horrible on the land and you're gonna need bug spray and again uh be on the lookout for gators because gators do come in springs regardless of what people say they do and uh it's pretty nice pretty nice spring if you come out this way you do decide to come this way just uh keep it on the lowdown we want to keep these places like this we want to keep them you know as in as good a shape as possible you know don't want no trash left behind out here and the crowds you know don't want a lot of crowds out here so that's a lot of the reason that people do not like it when you start telling about these hidden springs and that's why again i'm not giving the location just showing the showing the beauty of it and it's gorgeous Well, now I think I'm going to get back on the boat and check out the uh, underwater, what it looks like underwater. And uh, also, ooh, it's very slippery, so I'm going to turn this off and make my way back down.
I guess we're done here at the spring. So we're going to head on back up. We're going to float on out the spring run here. Sure hate to leave, but it's 1030 and probably take me about 45 minutes to an hour to get back. At least it's downstream. Hope y'all enjoyed it. It's sure a beautiful place. It's like a little oasis. About the best time to come to this place though, for me at least, is like I always say on every spring, come during the week, come early as you possibly can, sun up if possible. Come when it's not raining, unless it's sprinkling, and uh, basically when it's not been flooding and don't come on the weekend unless you don't mind being around the crowds because the crowds more and more because of social media and youtube and i'm guilty of it myself people are finding these springs uh and they're just coming to see them you know they're a beautiful place to see if you do come Take care of this place. So if you do find this spring, I, I'd appreciate it that you uh, kind of keep it on the down low. And uh, if you do bring anything in, in with you, make sure you pack it back out and bring it back with you. Bring it home with you, throw your trash away. Don't leave it laying around. Beer cans and things like that. I do see these beer cans and bottles and there's no calls. There's no call for that. Just take it with you. you know, or don't bring it if, don't bring it if you're not gonna take it back with you. Uh, it's our responsibility to take care of what we have out here, and uh, we can do it. I got to get on back to the car, or the truck, and uh, get out of here before the main part of the storm gets here. I just wanted to get this in, because I hadn't been out here in quite a while. I wanted to get this in before uh, all this rain came, because it's more than likely the springs are going to be browned out. All the springs around here are probably going to be browned out for uh, a couple of weeks or a month or so. It just depends. Uh, it really depends on how much rain we get and the surrounding areas. So I had the time and here we go. So let's head on back.
we have arrived at Ciro Gordo Boat Landing. And frankly, I'm ready to get out of the rain. It pretty much rained the entire trip. But uh, that's okay, because I got to see the spring, and that's what I came for. Well, we're all loaded up, and we're ready to go. I'm ready to get dried off, and uh, I had a great trip. I look forward to coming back again. I always like to go to that secret spring. It's always beautiful. But uh, I hope you all enjoyed it. And I do hope that everyone is safe during this storm that's coming through and hopefully uh, nobody will have any severe damage and everybody will be okay. Uh, if you did enjoy this and uh, come back for the next adventure, it'll be soon. Thanks for watching. See you later.